To see yeah. you again. It's been a while. It's been a sec, man. I miss you, man. How I you know, doing, Mr. Whole I, Rock? I know. I feel like I can't give you a virtual hug through oh, here. Yeah, but I, I'll be squeezing you, man. I'll be <laughs> squeezing you, bro. Oh. Yeah. First of all, welcome to the Smoking Word. Listen, we are finally back. It's been a while, but for everybody... The Smoking Word Network has relocated and we have upgraded and the next one is going to be in the new studio, but we're actually moving stuff as we speak, but I had to get my boy on. I had to come back hard. I had to come back yeah. hard. So I said, listen, we got to hit him with some of that. First of all, <laughs> let me just introduce you. My boy, my new boy from the fucking probably not probably I got to say my new favorite, my favorite new band. Because you guys yeah. are still new, which is great. A great spot to yeah. be the new band. My favorite new the voice behind Drain. My boy, <laughs> Sammy Sam. I, I like to call him the coach. You got call him what you want, but call him with some ice cream and not collect. Let's go. Let's. <laughs> hey, hey you, does this show as the coach on your thing? Does yeah, boom. Look at you. Let's play, man. Oh, yeah, I'm the coach. Yeah, Listen, you're the coach. That's it. You're like, got, first of all, you got me motivated. Man, I got to say, you, uh, Drain pulled my push-up card a couple times. <laughs> on, the, on the days where I, I was probably more the couch than the couch was, Drain yeah. entered the room. Next thing you know, but your boy had to knock, knock off a couple, you know, hundred yeah. something push-ups or something. Hey, you know, I feel like we can't, we can't even talk about the push-ups without, if I don't bring up my boy, Mr. Sam Jamison, yeah. on the low end. Playing that that rhythm, you know. Yes. Honestly, all of them, Cody and Tim, I feel like it just takes one of us to set to yeah, set it off. And yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, dude. Well, now we're all in it. We're all trying to be fit, dude. My bad. Yeah. My dog's sneaking in. No, that's Hold good. Up. What's your dog's name? Dude, this is Ben. I'm the coach. This is Ben the dog. Yeah. What's up, What's up brother? Heck Listen, yeah. like, and I on? want everybody to know. You see, that his energy is real because I got I got the fake energy detector. So I kept my eye on him. I was like, all right, nobody could be that you know energetic and that smile and really mean it. That or, yeah. unless you're the Joker, you might still have that Joker energy when I you know at, at hey. other times. But I saw you, and again. It, I got to say, you got me motivated. I love, you know, I, the band is great for real, on the real. I love the band. You know, before we started, before we even hooked up this tour, we already, you know, following the band and stuff. And I was following the other band. Like I told you, we're talking about the whole Gulch shit, which I yeah. was saying, Gulch, I, I was looking at Gulch as being the front line of that new generation. You know what I mean? And I really was like, oh, no, those are them. And everybody else, oh, yeah, there's a new wave behind them. But I was like, go to yeah. And then the next thing I know, I see, yo, the last show or some shit. And I was like, yeah. man, I, I just, because I was actually going to reach out to get on the show, you know, to, to, to get somebody from the band on the show. And then I saw, oh, last show. Yeah. Dude, it was, it was, it was a, yeah, it kind of crept up on everybody. Yeah. like, like So real quick, let's, let, let's go back. I know we talked about it already, but, you know, we'll refresh. So like. That was that your first band? Cause you, for everybody out there who don't know, you played drums for Gulch. First of all, he played drums for Gulch, and for Mad Boy, he played bass. He sings for Drain. He fucking, these guys are doing everything. These guys are trying to take jobs over here from people. <laughs> Dude, hey, you know, just 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 having fun with it, man. No, I did, drums my first thing though. Drums, well, my first instrument. I done like little bands in high school and stuff. Um, yeah. But then I, I came to Santa Cruz for to go to college. Yeah. And uh and I couldn't bring my stuff with me. I just wanted to do something. So I was like, fuck it. I guess I'll be a singer. I'll yeah. you know, I'll find some dudes to hook up with and I'll just just do that, you know, because I don't have I don't have the gear, I don't have a car. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and drums suck if you don't got a car. Oh, how did the, the worst, drums man. but why drums? Like how did that why drums? I, I'll be honest, I don't know. I got I got a couple of drums in the family, as I'll say, you know, uh, uh uncles or you know, older older um and so my, my first kit was, you know, my uncle passed me down this beautiful, like, white Ludwig that he had in storage. Like, you know, just You're a good drummer, to too. Of... You're a real drummer. That's what I'm saying. It's not like you're like, oh, some guy's like, oh, I could play a B. You're a real drummer, too. So that's what I'm saying. Thanks, man. Yeah, dude. That, yo, that was, I never, ever, ever thought, I mean, I still don't even really think, of, like, the doing the vocal thing was ever going to be a thing. You know, I'm just like, I was like, I just want to play drums. I don't know. Just like, 
I don't know. You just want to just break shit. It's like you get the green light to just break shit. You just hit things and just go yeah. nuts. Yeah. You know, and I was like, that's yeah, that's sign me up. That's me, man. I'm in. And and how early you started with that? Mm. I started playing when I was uh like like 13. Yeah. 12, 13. I just started high school. Yeah. Um, and, and okay, now you're it's 13 you. 13 year old Sam, what are you listening to? That's what I want to know. Like, dude, at that point, man. So, well, hardcore is the last thing I found, to be honest. But yeah. I would, there's, there's some things where it's like close. You know what I mean? I was, I love, I love punk. I love metal. And hardcore is like that, that in between that yeah. kind of took me a sec to find. But, dude, there, no, I'm not even joking. I think I still got some like random covers on YouTube. I found recently, I think I was in ninth, 10th grade. Covering SOD on drums. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, you know, covering DRI on drums. Love DRI. At that point, that's when I was already into, you know, just, uh, um, yeah. And I, yeah, I it's like, yeah, it's like, you know, it's totally fucking um, Bay Area, Northern California influence. The thrash stuff. Yeah. The thrash mixed with punk, which I always loved. For me, the, even with being a hardcore guy, I was more into the metal hardcore part than the punk hardcore part. So this totally. is what's crazy is right now there's a new wave of the punk style hardcore bands which are like the scowls and that which are killing it. But this is yeah. what I liked about you guys that you weren't the you were the new generation, but not of mixing the punk rock, but you were mixing the thrash with the hardcore and your own thing. That's what I like. Yeah. I was more of that. I was more the metal, the in between and metal guy than punk rock. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Yo, I mean, and, and you know what? It's like, it's. I feel lucky. We kind of found a little way where it's like, even the kids that do love just that straight punk stuff, will be like, "Yo, I like you guys, though." You know, and and obviously the kids that like kind of like the metal stuff and the heavier stuff, like, "Yo, I, I also like you guys." So I'm just trying to not dive too far in into one place, just like spread it out, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, man, that's that was my jam, dude. I mean, I'll be honest. When I first started, like, you know, I, I was pretty studious when i was a younger and i was like i really want to go to college and yeah. whatever but i was like dude i would love to go to the bay area bay area thrash i was like i'm gonna go to like uh fucking is it no is lamore in new york yeah lamore is yeah that was okay. the thrash spots yeah those were yeah. the thrash spots i was like i see all the, there's a spot and that's if i can't even think of the name i'd hear about my like, i wonder if it's still there i want to go <laughs> bay area thrash forbidden yeah. heathen testament yeah. all that bay area shit hell yeah i hell loved yeah. it Shout out so, to Chris Cantos. That's my boy, too. You know, all oh, that no Bay joke, Area. Dude. Yeah, Machine Head. You know, we, we talked a little Machine Head on tour. Yeah. Bay Area. Again, I love the thrash shit. You know what I mean? So that's 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 the cool thing about the Bay in general to the East Coast. Uh, it's very similar to New, New York City, how New York City was vibe wise, music wise. That's why I think it always had a, a related to each other more. Look, I love LA and all that, but it's different worlds. You know, LA, the Northern Cal, the Southern Cal, you know that how that goes. It's a whole yeah. different vibe, which I love it down there too. But um, up North mimic um, Northeast, you know, East okay. Coast a, a lot, you know, even style wise, you know, yeah. the, 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 the way we express aggressiveness is more similar than maybe the yeah. people down South do. You know, so it's a. Uh, That's rad, man. Yeah, dude. I, I, I've always always had an affinity for that. I mean, and I, I don't know. I, I was just stoked on it. But yeah, that was my shit, dude. That was my bread and butter. So, so now, now, how you run? You find how you obviously when if you're into metal, you're gonna run into the hardcore shit. You know, you're gonna run into yeah. punk something eventually if you're in it. Like when now now is Gulch. What's the the first? All right, so you're playing drums now. Are you playing for any bands yet, or you're just playing for the hell of it? First yeah, band. What's your really. first? Ba what's your first band? What style? What was it? A hardcore band or a metal band? Dude, my first band is a, it was a thrash metal band, a little, little group in high school. We, we, we call ourselves Radiation. We were oh shit! Band. <laughs> very, very on that shit. Yeah. Hell no, yeah. yeah. We, you know, it didn't do do like a lot. It was just fun. You know, that that was my first experience. Like, yeah, I'm not even gonna front. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not a street dude. Never was a street kid. You know, I grew up in the suburbs. And don't gotta was, be. Hell yeah. Fuck. Yeah. That was my first exposure, though. I'll be honest. Found, found some dudes that, you know, that's just crazy. Like, my the, where I grew up is a town called San Pedro. The home of Rotting Out, which is yeah, so Yeah, of course. You know, Shout out to Rotting Out. Hell yeah. Those dudes fans. The best. The, the real street dudes. That's just yeah. so fun. I'd be like, oh, you're from there. You got, you're from the streets, too. Like, like no, same yeah. town, but just different yeah. different parts of the town. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and it's, it's so, anyways, that was my first step when I was in high school, kind of meeting kids. I'm like, yo, all the kids that like this shit 
they're not kids that are my neighbors. They're on the other side of town. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? But they're my boys, you know? So that was my first time. We'd be like, my little soft ass, like, we're going over with my dudes. We're like, oh, we're going to, like, Inglewood. We're playing a backyard show in Compton, whatever. And I'm like, dude, okay. This shit's crazy. And, like, I, I, dude, shit's wild, you know? Like, yeah. that was my first exposure to, like, to sing – how sheltered I really was, you know, it's kind of, yeah, kinda yeah crazy, but, don't, but don't kid yourself. This is, and I'll blow everybody up in East coast. So every, even in New York, the first, you know, everybody's a new Jack at CBGB's. Everybody was, everybody was your first time. Like, yo, I'm walking into some place with a bunch of savages. I don't know. I don't know even if I belong here, but something about it draws everybody. Yeah. We all did it. I remember my first time like, yo, it seemed like yeah, and you know, you if you left and you survived, you were like, "Wow, I survived!" Wow, but so, I gotta go back. Something yeah. about it. either you're scared of it or you you get drawn to it. You know what I mean? I think it was a both. It was such a I mean, obviously. I love the music. I, I you know, I've been like you know, listener playing at home, and that was yeah. my friend. Like, oh, I'm seeing this shit for real, like real fucking just like dirt getting kicked up, kids circle pit in the backyard, the NOS tank, all the shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, dude? Yeah, this yeah. is crazy. And, and, but, uh, and, and it's funny because um, even with the thrash scene, um, they were known for the backyard parties up there, yeah. especially the whole backyard scene, you know. Dude, I, I wish that's the thing, man. I, I feel like I, uh, I, I did a, a good amount of that when I was, you know, when I was growing up and stuff. But And, and I liked some bands. But, like, I didn't know. You know, I always knew, like, kind of with S.O.D. It's like, there's something different. It's still Thrash Band, you know, my thought. I'm like, but they got that, that, that something else. They got these stomp parts. That, like, yeah. I don't know where that comes from, you know? And, like, as went on, you know, I found Power Trip. I'm like, yo, this is dope Thrash Band. Yeah. But they got this other factor, you know? And Hell it was yeah, like, yep. Power Trip and Trash Talk and Rotting Out. Whereas yep. three bands, I'm like, okay, these two are punk bands. But, like, they're not, like, I don't know. They're not, like. Okay. Mohawk punk. I know what you yeah. mean. Yeah, for sure. And, and I, I couldn't like put my, my my finger on what it was that made them different, you know. Like, but I was like, there's something different. So, anyways, man, that was like my first entry. It wasn't until a little bit after that that I realized, like, oh shit, this is yeah. hardcore. There's something no. else, you know. Like, yeah, and, that, and that's cool because um, you know, you're you're coming, and that's you know, those are that's hardcore shit where you you know, and but it's coming from. The, the your starting point. It's funny that my starting point. My starting point was funny. And different than you yeah. know the the Vinny stigmas and those guys because I came you know but it it's the right it's the same thing that happened to me I would hear some bands I'm like I like that but I like this more I don't know why but it has something more than that you know and, and then you discover mm -hmm. you discover a vibe and then you, it, you you know you discover um the culture you know you yeah. find out there's more than just a sound there's a sound there's like minded people. You know, they like the same fucking uh, imagery, the same yeah. fucking style of talk and shit. And um, yeah, and I, I feel like, yeah, it's like those, they know, they know when, where they're at, obviously. So they write these parts because they can visualize what that's going to look like live. You know, I'm like, all those parts, I see it live. I'm like, oh my God, you know, and yeah. I, I left, I left for school. Um, I was pretty young. I, I graduated when I was 17 from high school. And so I went to college right as like a fresh 18 year old. What was and, your major uh, before you got dude, to say it? Uh, I, I, studied, want, I want it. Dude, yeah, it, it's funny, man. <laughs> I, I, I studied film. I don't even know. I don't even like movies, to be but, honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but that's good. I, I thought you were going to say some other shit, like, but that's good. You know, film, at least you got, yeah, you, you know, you never know. It might come in handy when you're not. Man, the next close maybe up. Maybe down the road. Maybe down the road, dude. I, I, you know, it's one of those things. I almost dropped out halfway through um, because of, of music, to be honest. I was just like, fuck, dude, I'm doing school and I don't really like this. And I'd be seeing bands coming through town. And it's like, not like a, like an ego way, but I'm like, yo, like I play drums. I can do that. I could be that guy, you know, yeah, hell yeah. but instead I'm, I'm here. And so I, I really like had a really close call about dropping out. I mean, I was, I was far. So it was kind of like a, a bit of a thing. I was like, I got to plan. I have to move home if I do this. And like, I really thought about it and I decided to stick it out, but I was like dead set on like, we're going to graduate, move back to LA and just do this, just try to do music and, and figure it out. But uh, yeah, man. And then I linked up with these dudes, you know, I linked up with, um, you know, it was a couple of different, when we started out, it was a couple of different people, but you know, Tim, Tim uh, on drums, he's, he's been the, he's the day one. He kind of started the band. Okay. Um, all right. And so I linked Tim. up with him. Shout out to Tim, man. And he's, he's a he's, killer, killer drama, man. Forget it. Dude, he's the, he's the beast. He's the yeah. sneak beast, dude. I yeah. love he's so low key. And then just wants to, he just wants to play drums, man. He doesn't want to do any of that weird 
Yeah, I, I love it. I feel like it kind of goes with everyone's got to know their place and their thing. Tim's just like, yo, I just play drums. I don't want to be Mr. Social Guy. I don't want to be on the front of this shit doing the interview. I just want to be the best drummer I could be and kick ass and yeah. write, you know, heavy parts with my friends. Yeah. And he's the fucking beast. That's been his MO from day one. And so I met Tim because he was going to school there as well. Oh, um, shit. That's cool. You were both in school. That's cool. Yeah. And it's funny. Well, my boy slam on bass. Everything's coming full circle. I met Sam at cool. We went to the same school. We and him worked in the cafeteria together. Oh, get um, out <laughs> Get yeah. out of That's great. That's, that's how we met. And so it's kind of crazy seeing full circles like just people we met when we were, you know, that was like 2013, yeah. you know, 2012, 2013. So now it's like we're all kind of came full circle. You know, we'd roll the shows together. We do stuff together. And it's uh, it's sick to be doing all this stuff together now, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I, and I, I told you, I already told you, I love the gold shit. Later on, we'll do a gold episode flashback. I try to get that because I like the bad. But today is some drain. This is the drain shit I want to know. You, so I know We you, do whatever you want, man. Yeah. So yeah. we got, so because the gold was dope. And that was that gold was, was that the first band that you made noise with? Or was there another band that you think you caught traction with before that? No, dude. So we were already, uh, we were doing Drain for a couple of years at that point. That was the first so one. You, and we were, okay, yeah. so Drain, all right, all right. But it was kind of sick. We were doing this. Uh, so my my dude from uh my dude from Cole is my man Cole, the guitar player. He's like the brain of the band. He writes all the music, he has like the vision. Um, he does a screen printing business. I actually work for him now. This dude kind of okay. crazy how this whole domino effect life works out in real mysterious ways. But uh we were putting in an order for Drain and he, he was like, you know, I can bring, I was like, dude, like we're actually, it's for like, I forgot what it was. It was anyways. He was like, yo, I'll bring the shirts to you. And I was like, you're actually playing a show. I played drums in this other band called Young Love. It was like a little local project for fun. And, uh, you know, Tim on drums was actually playing guitar in Young Love. I played drums. No one knew that I could play drums. They only see me for a couple of years. as like a dude in front of the band. Yeah. Um, and so it was like our first show. And so Cole came through with Elliot, the singer of Gold. So they're like, they, they've been day one best friends, oh. you know? And dude, it's, it's sick because there's a video of it. Um, he was like, I was like, you in the state? He was like, oh, what the heck? He's like, I'll, I'll stay. I'll check you guys out just because. And dude, you see the moment. It's like 10 seconds into the set. We just come out swinging. And he kind of like taps Elliot. And he's like, they're pointing. <laughs> and like, dude, after that, he was like, yo, man. So we, we have this like music written for this project. We weren't really... I don't know if we're even going to play shows with it, but like, I just, I want to just put this demo out. Like, will you help me play drums on it? I was like, he's like, dude, I didn't know you could play. Like you're a good drummer. I was like, fuck yeah, dude, let's do it. As long as I want Tim on bass. That's my only request. Let's put Tim on bass. Yeah. So me and Tim, Tim was on bass for the first like four years of Gulch and I was on drums. Um, and, uh, and I was, so, so hold on. So, so drain was going on simultaneously. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Same exact time. Yeah. Ah, I, I was, didn't know that. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's been, we've been, it's like, I was doing, fuck, at one point, man, I was doing Drain, Gulch, uh, I was doing this band called Hands of God, which is getting some really good traction, too. Which I, I was, I was hearing that, too. Yeah, I heard that, too, for sure. All three simultaneous. We did one, one 10-day run, all three of us. I was doing the triple set every night. <laughs> It was brutal. It was sick, Je Je Yeah, crazy. And, and you were playing drums for all of them? No, it was drum singing. Oh, drums yeah, drums for, for two. Yeah, drums for two, and then singing for Drain. Brutal. It was cool, man. And, and that's the thing, man. I feel like that's what kind of like, well, humbly, I think that's what kind of started the like rise of this Bay Area scene. Was it was kind of like, yo, if you get one, it just became easier. Like, yo, if you get one of us, you get all three of us. You know what I mean? Like, Fest, we're calling, yo, FY, we we'll want to book. You know, they want to book goals. Like, all right, you got to bring Drain. You know, it's like, yo, we want to do this fest out here. All right, for sure, you got to bring Hands of God and Drain. You know, we're all doing it. That's um, real dope. That's so, dope. You know, yeah. So people kind of, I think they kind of see like, yo, there's this group of dudes. There's only about it's like ten or fifteen guys, but they make up like four bands. You know yeah. what I mean? Like half of Gulch was in the band called Spinebreaker. You know, like I feel I filled in for them one show. Little, little stuff. It's like, dude, we're just trying to make it happen. We could. And when Hands of God kind of ended, Tsunami had started already, but then Hands of God kind of ended, and it's basically the same band, just different singer. They kind of like. I don't want to say it took the place, but you know what I mean? They kind of became like the, the other Bay Area band that was pretty big, you know? Yeah, um, yeah so, dude, so kind of kind of wild. That's that's crazy. So when you would say you started with the Drain stuff, how, when you would say that started? Uh, fuck. They started in 2014. I, I didn't link up with them until like, yeah, 2015. Really? And yeah. when did you jump in with them? 
like early 2015. Yeah. They started, really? Like, yeah, they kind of started before I had like a demo, like kind of written, you know, and then I hopped in after. That, um, that 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 makes that makes it even better when I root for you guys. That dude, it didn't, that it did, that it didn't seem like that out the box, which I don't give a fuck no. if you come out the box and, and and sound dope and get moment. I'm not one of those dudes either. So, but yeah. I didn't know that. I always because I've always had Gulch on my radar first. I didn't know totally. about Drake. Yeah, and that's why yeah. I, I, I I assumed, and what I thought it, from my perspective was all right. Yo, Gulch was popping. Now they stopped. Boom. Dr- y- your other band. Totally. It's, it's, they got, you know, they they got good music and now they cat now the catching momentum because, you know, you got a movement, you're behind you like what exactly yeah. what you're doing. There's a movement coming out of out of the the whole Bay Area. Totally, you know? man. No, you, you know, you're probably not alone, man. I think a lot of people probably think that. I mean, I had a lot of people say it too, like, yo, like Dre put out that album in twenty twenty and they blew up overnight and yeah, then yeah. they came out of nowhere. I'm like I wish, man. Shit, dude. I mean, not actually. I, I love. I wouldn't change anything. But it's like no. But I we, know what you mean. Yeah, we 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 were getting after it like as best as we knew how to. That's what. Yeah, look, and, and, and even if it didn't, I, you know, hey, you guys, if you guys, if that's what you do, and that's just what happened to happen, you know, and and it's what you, yeah. you know, hey, that's what I tell people is it, the problem is if you change to try to go for something, you know, if you try to do something that. That you know, everybody knows. Like I hate that we still in this day and age got to give disclaimers on being fake. It's like yeah. I want to get paid for the songs I wrote, but yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to be something I'm not though. Now you could tell when somebody's fake in the funk. You know, it comes out. Oh yeah, it always comes out in the wash. You know what I mean? And, and one thing really I always does. liked about you and a lot of your guys. First of all, your whole camp is good. At, besides players, great players. You know, in the great good dudes, and it's hard to get a a bunch of good guys in Thanks, one spot. Man. You know, and and, and what I yeah. like about this more, and I'll speak as an older, you know, I, I don't like I don't put myself as these old old bitter dudes. I'm more like the cool uncle who got out of jail kind of dude. This is how I consider myself. But <laughs> what I like about you and all your guys is you guys don't claim to be um of some old school hardcore guy because you don't have to be and that's what i love yeah. that you don't have to be that and that's what i love i'm like because nobody was i wasn't no i got into hardcore because of my brother if it wasn't because of my brother i'd be into hip-hop you know i yeah. wasn't born in cbg he's like freddie that's like a rarity you know you have a kid right. that literally came up everybody got put on by somebody yeah you know what I mean? man you know it's like it's more like when you find it it's you know it's how you treat her you know it's like you find it you know it's and what do you do from there? Exactly, man. It's not about it. And that's the thing. It's, it's so fun. I feel like Drain's always prided on something. I'm like, yo, dude, I didn't, like, grow. I wasn't, you know, going to shows out the womb, like, yeah. when I was, like, a little kid, dude. Yeah. So, you know, it's amazing. It's like, I loved it. From Once I found it, I was like, yo, yeah. this is it. This is home. That's you what know? I mean. And, and that's right yeah. alone. You say the minute I found it, I loved it. Period. That's all yeah. this shit should be about. People that love the the, the, the whole movement, the culture of this shit. Because there's a yeah. lot of people who um they like pieces of it and then they hate and they destroy it in other ways because they they don't like the whole thing about it. It's like a it's a culture. That's why you know stigma put this on to me. I remember he would be like, "How you fall out of a culture?" It's like it's one thing you don't go to shows, okay, but like these are like people you build family bonds with and like even if you don't see each yeah. other, like you sleep with each you know same places on the floor together. Yeah. You share the same food. You drink out the same bottle. You know, there's a you know you people come and go while you're together. You know what I mean? There's a, you go through a lot being in a band. You know what I mean? And, oh and this yeah. Scene, you know, especially a band a band like this style. It's like, dude, it's I mean, it's crazy, dude. And I'm I'm just thankful, man. Like, like I say, you know, like we all those guys have been with. Even though Sam's like you know more recent, he's been yeah. filling in and rocking with us. But he's been a day one friend of ours. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just a good dude. I'm like. Man, I'm just so thankful. You know what I mean? I'm so thankful, and I, I know I can. I love my guys. I can tr- I trust my guys in my life, and I know yeah. they feel the same way. And it's like it's tough to find, man. It's when you find those people, you, you take good care of them, and because they're you're true like family. You know that's what they hell, are. Hell yeah! And, and you guys are rocking. You guys are making a lot of noise. I was seeing that I, it might have been. I, it was during the whole. I don't want to even say the word, but the, the whole um, three year vacation we had. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But oh, I yeah. seen uh, it was a show you had during that. I think it was. Like, it looked like in a library. It was one. I might have been like. It was like I don't know. I don't want to see your first show, but maybe your first show back. 
during the, the oh, during the, the during the whole pandemic or after it back yeah it was cuz we did a crazy outside one i don't know there, if i, I seen the outside no that was an yeah. indoor one one i want to say it early it looked like i don't know it was crazy but i remember being like oh shit it looked like yeah. a fucking library i don't know for some reason Jeez. it looked like you know, for a library, it had to be the spot called Sobrosa in Santa Cruz. That was probably an earlier one. Those, it's it's a little mini library. Yeah, that, yeah. We we haven't been they, we haven't done anything since COVID with them. But the outside show is fucking legendary. Yeah, yeah. No, I seen that already. But that's how I was already. To me, I when I saw that, I was already like, okay, I kind of knew you already had momentum. Yeah. Was that other shit was? But then, all right. They did you did you see? Uh, I saw a big momentum with your band and everybody. Just a scene during the whole. Three years, the last oh, two three yeah, years. Oh yeah, dude. So oh yeah. You guys picked up. You, you obviously you must have felt that shit with with Drain specifically, right? Yeah, dude. Well, because you know it's it's funny, man. We just we like the last like for example, you know the last tour we did was with Take Offense and Higher Power is like you know like January 2020. Actually, we all you know there's like other story that we all got sick with this mysterious <laughs> ailment that killed us. We were dead. None yeah. of us knew where it was. Yeah. Come to find out like a month later, I think we all had first, you know, first yeah. wave of COVID. But anyways, yeah. yeah, dude, we uh like for example, the last show we played in LA was uh, you know, it was like at the Echo we, on that tour, dude, maybe like 20, 30 kids there, maybe if that, you know. And so we um we started doing our shit and uh we put an album out during COVID. And uh -huh. that was like it came out I think we shut down in March and our shit dropped April 10, like early April, and we were like we had big record release shows planned on stuff. We were so bummed. But on the plus side, man, I think it was it actually worked in our favor. I think everyone was home and it was so early on. Everyone's like, what are we doing today? It's like we're watching Tiger King. And the whole everyone's it's like, yo, today it's like, oh shit, I guess we're all listening to this new drain record. Everybody. Because <laughs> no one else has shit to do. So everyone's just at home, just fucking listening. Um, and I didn't see that uh, the effects big picture until I think after. I didn't really realize it. I was like, damn. That might have worked out in our favor if ever the world was just going. It would have got. It would have been well. Yeah. I don't know if it would have gone as well though, man. I think just yeah. time and place it really worked in our favor. Um, and so that was our first show back after that. You know, and mind you, when the last shoes played, twenty thirty kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? How crazy is that, right? Yeah, I mean, like we did a fuck. The actual last shoe we did was that was it for our music video for that song "California Curse." It was pretty lit. It was a backyard show. It was pretty half the time. I feel like that shit just because of what it is people just want to go crazy but like the last show show we played proper you know it was like it wasn't the best show you know what i'm saying like <laughs> yeah. so it's crazy when you come back and all of a sudden it's like whoa everybody knows every single word this is crazy yeah yeah and you it's know? cool and it's cool that people you that people you, is that you say it so people that are um don't have bands and, and kind of wonder how it works it sometimes yeah. it's like that you know it comes out of nowhere and it ain't like you know sometimes it's a a, a ride where you were like, yeah, we saw it steadily, ba ba ba, and then sometimes it just works like that. You don't, you don't see nothing for a while, and then boom, something catches. That's how the music yeah. works, you know. And definitely, uh, th did the pandemic help? I think so, but I think it was gonna happen anyway. But I definitely think it helped uh, uh, get more eyes on you quicker because everybody had, you know, there was nothing to do, so that helped. You know, yeah. it, it, you know, it was a smart time to drop new music for anybody, yeah. old or new, for sure. And you know, yeah, man. We, and again, it was like we had that thing was in the queue. It was like six months, probably. All right, this is our street date. We're gonna launch this. We're like, fuck yeah, like we got all this shit planned. And it was like, yo, dude, we have to cancel your show because I think it's shutting down. We're like so devastated, but it's kind of funny. One of those moments where you just kind of like, oh, and then you uh, look at like. Oh wait, what's happening? Something's actually happening right here. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was so, insane. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. It was nuts. We did that first show back. Honestly, well, I don't remember exactly how it was. I think there was this cracking show in LA, like under the under a freeway overpass type thing. Yeah. And the next weekend it was like, yo, we gotta do ours. So I, I think because some dudes from the bay went down there. Um, and then, you know, on the way up to like, yo, we're planning one. I was like, all right, how we be a part of it? Let me in. I want, I would love to do it. Let's go. Um, and, uh, I think Tompkins was after that. I think it was after that. I was like, man, yeah. I think we're, we're all just having the same idea. Like, dude, let's just do this shit, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude. So that was it. Then we kind of, it, it's been kind of full swing since then, to be honest, you know? And, and when, and when you wrote, when you wrote that, when you wrote the record, did you write the record? Like, oh yeah, let's, let's record these songs. Or you were like, yo, let's try to write. You know, you were trying to look at when we did records, 
we never mimicked anybody, but we would be like, okay, like Machine Head was popping at the time. So we were like, yo, it got to be on some, not that it was going to sound like it, but it got to hang on that type of aggressiveness. You know, it got to be like sonically that sound that big or those were the, you know, the, the, the influences that we were going for. Some bands put out just so, hey, we were recorded songs. We weren't even thinking about it. We were yeah. thinking about like, yo, who the monsters out there? We got, who's our, who's our comp- competitors in, in that way? Like what style, like a UFC fight in the early days. Yeah. Like, what style, uh, we, you know, is out there? And we used to like see what was out there and kind of be like, okay, we got to do our style of that, you know, some aggressive yeah. shit, like, you know, like the lay of the land, like, was there any idea or you just had a bunch of old so- songs that you put together as an album? Yeah. No, I mean, so that one was, uh, we was, we was pretty thought out, to be honest. It was yeah. pretty well thought. I think it was kind of like, to be honest, I think there was a mix of like, yo, we want to, production wise, you know, obviously you don't want to bite it, but you're saying, okay, I love how big, actually, I, I remember being like, yo, Burn My Eyes sounds fucking huge. I love you know, it. absolutely. Like, yeah, like, you know, like, let's get guitar tone from like, I don't know if it was vulgar display or if it was far beyond driven, but like, yeah, like that sound of guitar tone, you know, like, yeah, just like, dude, yeah. mixing the best of both what we like, you know? Oh, yeah. That's all what I, dude, I feel like we're so on that. Like, we're so, like, and it, it, isn't that, like, I think you kind of touched it. Isn't that funny? It's like lame to think about, or like, some people want to say it's lame to, like, think about that. Like, man, of course we think about this. Of course this shit's well thought out. It, uh, yeah. It's really the, nilly. Yeah. Seriously. You spend money, time to just go in there and fuck around? Like, are you yeah. crazy? It's like, you know, yeah. and, 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 and it's like, no, it's uh, it's absolutely thought out, but people don't understand. It's like, we get influenced by vibes. That's what it is. Like, I would tell people all the time, I would say it, you know, I turn up to, to, to keep people on the toes sometimes. So yeah. I, I, I'll say shit in a certain way on spite. But like, um, um, uh, like I talked about, uh, there's guys that I've influenced off of, but I'll go up to them and I'll say, yo, I bit that riff off you, you know, that one riff. And I'll, I'll just say like, I, I, and obviously I didn't bite it. We don't sound like any of those, but saying like, yo, I love that shit. And I wrote my version of some, you know, yeah. feel of that. Oh, I, I, I got no shame in my game because anybody who writes music is influenced from, is taking influence, is eating it and regurgitating it how they yeah. feel it. That's what music is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's the, the key thing. As long as you put it through, you put it through the Hoya filter, you take that little piece and you run it through what you got. That's the, when you just straight lift a rip, that's one thing, but it's like, yo, dude, I, I, I like, I love that. I love the way this works. I love the way that feels. Now I'm gonna do it my way. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Done deal. You know what I mean? It's sick. Yeah. And, and, and what, all right. So now you feel some momentum drain is picking up. So forget before rebellion, before we even get to rebellion, it's before rebellion, before that. When was the moment you were like, all right, what's the the next moment that happened that you're like, damn, all right, we got some real traction going on. Like even more traction. Dude, honestly, like because I felt traction. I felt traction from, you know, this side from from you guys. That's why again, when it was your name came, you know, when when your name was 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 brought up and we threw your name into the bag for the, the tour because we knew we were like oh we already knew yeah. you guys were grinding and we liked the band and, and and already you know you had a buzz good buzz so did you Dude. feel it though like you know what i mean to be honest, I, don't, I don't know if i did like I, maybe yes or no a little bit yes or no you know like i think for for us the big one was like actually about a year ago today um this is so funny how it's all works. We were on a tour, but prior to that, dude, we were just like, we were on that that tip. We're like, dude, like, we really want to get asked to open up for somebody. We want to do a good support tour. And like, we just, dude, we're, we're just it's crickets. And honestly, just being honest, it's still been like a lot of crickets. You know, we, we're at this weird spot. I think maybe perception wise, people think we, we wouldn't want to open up for people or something. It's like, dude, we, we would love to get in front of someone else's audience, you know? Like, so anyways, about a year ago though, you know, and, and luckily, you know, we got a good team behind us that's, you know, not just in the band, you know, like, um, actually, you're going to meet him this weekend, dude. You were doing that run with Ends of Sanity. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm actually sitting that one out, but, um, oh, but no. yeah, yes, I won't, but yeah, but, uh, okay, okay, no worries. Yeah, it's my, my dude, James, man. Shout out to James. Oh, yeah. He, you know, helps on the back end, but, um, he's like, dude, you know what, man? Like, fuck it. Let's, let's throw some dates up just yourself. Big, you know, full, first time drain a headliner, but like, now you guys got a little buzz. And I wasn't excited. I was like, dude, I, I don't know, man. Do you think it's going to go over well? That was the first time in like more recent where I was like, whoa, okay. You know, it's like, 
dude, we sold out like, you know, a thousand cap room in LA. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't think we could do that. You know what I mean? I just didn't think we could do that. Um, and so it was a real, and then after that, I think people kind of realized it, and we realized for sure just in ourselves, like, damn, okay, we might have like a little something going on that more than we realized. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was always, we want to open for someone, want to open for someone. It was never like, yo, we, we never thought we could do something on our own. And um, we've done a couple like headlining runs since that was the longest one, but it's like, dude, straight up, man, that's some of my favorite stuff. You know, when you get to do your thing, you create your own vibe for the whole night, you know, and it's like, it's real cool, man. But I mean, I, I do love getting to open up and getting to meet people, especially like, I'm not, I'm not just saying this because I've been telling everybody, I'm like, dude, this rebellion run was surreal, man. Uh, just to uh, watch dudes that like paved the way still doing it. Well, taking notes man yeah yeah no we we had a it was even for us it was special because um um being back for the first time and also to be back with the people that we were on stage with we haven't been some of us haven't been on stage for fucking 25 years you know what i mean right? like together playing songs like the original mad ball lineup that we jumped up and did that's like we've been in rooms together but not on a stage together and all that shit so you know, it yeah, was how crazy, you know, man. But but real before we even get into that, it's kind of what you said something, and I'm glad you said it because it kind of happened when we were setting up the rebellion. Getting into the rebellion was we there was there was a little bit of a perception because you guys were buzzing so much that you might be past opening for some bands or in a different spot because sometimes you could you know you're you're you, you'll be the perfect band to co-headline and to headline. You know, with the right okay. band in a spot. Yeah. So, okay, now some bands might see it as, oh no, they they might not want to do that because they could do it on their own. So, because even when I we see, were bringing yeah. bands up for our thing, which we already know we had H two O and the Mad Boy, and kind of it was like we are even with that, we were like, man, are they already kind of like you know, are they planning to go on their own? You know, when, when you were one of the bands, we kind of had that. A little bit of that feeling too. We weren't sure where you guys were at as far as wanting to go out with other bands or just you had a different totally. band. You know what I mean? So yeah, dude, it, it's crazy how that all works, man. You know, it, it, it's funny. It's like just uh, we perceive things a certain way, and you know, you kind of just realize it's like you never really know how other people will look at you. You know, and it's like it's just it's a trip, man. But that's been our biggest thing. You know, we're just like, yo, we love rock, we love doing our thing. Now. We want to do it on our own, but it's like how many how many people can we get in front of the different people, you know? Yeah, and so yeah. all of a sudden, though, you know, like again, we did that fest or that tour. It was awesome, no bad shows at all. It was all awesome, all great, and then still, it's like kind of crickets, you know. So right around the time that this tour got pitched, you know, it's like we just we did uh, we got asked to open up for um, this pop punk band called Neck Deep. Yeah, it was like a couple of shows. I'll be honest, no, I'm not a pop punk dude. No, no, it's no, no, no disrespect or that. Yeah. I just never, I didn't really listen to it. Dude, loved it. Played in rooms full of kids that have never even heard a band with like a real distorted guitar uh -huh. or anything. And kids are losing their mind. It was like, dude, that straight into a comeback kid tour in Australia, straight into European, you know, rebellion tour. And it was like, dude, I love it, man. We yeah. absolutely love just getting to go. Cause like, dude, you learn something new every single day, every time you go, if you're doing it right. I feel like anytime, I don't know, maybe it's a blessing and a curse. You go to a show now, yeah, I'm watching them listen to music, but it's like, dude, you, you just watch how people are doing things, you know, because you're like, yo, these guys, they're, they're doing this for this long for a reason. They're good at it. They know what's going on. They know how to do this professionally. You know, it's like we want to get there. So it's like little stuff as simple as just taking notes, you know, like and it's little different things each time. You know what I mean? It's like neck deep their gear situation. You know, it's like, man, I, I would have never thought about this. these guys are very efficient how they're doing their, their, their setup, you know. Uh, and that's good that I know you guys, all you guys were looking at that and watching. And that's a great thing to do because you, that's what we all learning. If you plan to do this so long, forever, forever or whatever amount of time, you got to learn a lot. And the teachers are out there. You just watch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even if it's people you don't like, you learn how to do certain things and what not to do. I learned a oh. lot what not to do, especially how you act with people. When the more people I met in bands, I said, I'm not going to act like that asshole. I'm not going to act like that asshole. I'm not going to be that asshole. And that's well, why I'm not that asshole. You know dude, I mean? and you're not, and again, man, I'm, I'm not even just saying that, but that was a real, you know, it's like, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is, I don't know if these, I don't think if these get cut out here, but I'll just say it with me. It's like, no, like, like we're, we're talking with the monster thing, you know? And I was like, damn, yeah. I could really see how people could really fuck this up and kind of just go full kook mode, you know? But I'm like, okay, I'm kind of curious to see how Madball does this because I don't know. I've never really, I don't have a frame of reference, you know? And it's like, oh, 
you watch it, you go up and see them like, yo, these guys are the same dudes. These are the realest dudes. Like you just, you don't know, you know, I've seen Tara and I'm like, okay, I know how Tara navigates through that, but you just don't know. I mean, I, sure, I understand of course. how people could, you know, and it doesn't really matter. Some people are going to perceive things a certain way and that you can't really do anything about that. But I'm like, I'm just curious to see, is, is it, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't want to fuck this up, but I'm saying, yeah, yeah, like, no, how do you, for sure. you got you take the way you do the dance. It's like, you take one step forward, but you kind of keep one step back and you, you navigate yeah. through. And so seeing with you guys and then just watching you guys, you've been to, I mean, how many times you said you, you probably played most of those venues. Oh yeah. Uh, we, we, we've been playing, we've been going, going to Europe for close to 30 years. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and, and we played almost all those, we played everywhere. We played everybody's backyard squat club yeah. uh you know uh real club whatever we've done it all um but no no but for sure yeah it's crazy we have a lot of history but that's what i love about you know europe in general but um there's a lot to be learned when you're playing and being aware of that is good because you learn how to be efficient and yeah. what, what to do and not to do exactly and it's you know it's a craft you know you know yeah we anybody could play music okay now play on a big stage, uh, play on a, on a small stage. Now play with a sound system, play with no sound system. Play in front of a thousand people, play in front of ten people. Now you're going to get playing a good club, playing a shitty club. That, yeah. That's what I tell people. These are things you learn, how you maneuver, how you, you know, how you carry your bags, where you leave your stuff. You know, everything's a techniques. You know what I mean? Like how Dude. you go to the bathroom, you know, going to yeah. the bathroom is a mission on tour. Dude, I, I mean, this is not only that, this is our first bus tour, you know? So there's like just so many things I'm taking note of. I'm like, oh, hold, okay. on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do it. I got that. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, no. No. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so that was your that first back. That was your first yeah. bus tour? That was our very first time on a bus, man. I, I like, I like, I'm, yeah. I'm glad that Mad Bull's part of the, the Pop and Cherry, the Drain yeah. che Cherry bus tour. Thank you, guys, man. Thank you for having us, dude. I mean, again, we were like, as soon as it got mentioned, we're like, it, it, we were, it was just Mad Ball. Like, yo, Mad Ball's doing a tour. I'm like, dude, fuck yeah. Tell them we're good. It doesn't yeah. matter what. And they're like, okay, so also, it's with Hazel Street and H2O. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. Okay, let's go. And like, oh, also, you're sharing a bus with all those guys. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> oh yeah. my God, dude. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask you this because I was just about to go ask you what you thought when they asked you. And did you know anybody? Did you know any of the H2O guys before this? Dude, I know. I, I I didn't know anybody to be honest. Um, I had my friends in that band. Scal had just kind of met Toby. Yeah. So they said, "Dude, he's the coolest dude." But that was that was really our, our only like I'm like okay, they, you know, he's friends with my friends, but that's about it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so we were just like, dude, we were stoked. I was like, dude, I'm ecstatic to go do this. But even that was like, dude, I want to. Um, I don't know, man. It's like I want to approach this right. I don't want to. I don't want to kook it and have these dudes be like, "Wow, we got invited this fucking band on here," and they didn't know the ins and outs on bus tour life. Yeah, I got I you. Yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it's like, dude, we only done vans before. You know. Yeah. yeah. Nah, and, it was um, all good. Nah, you guys are great, and it was good. Like, again, um, real respectful, and that's how you should be when you meet people. Anyway, if you're around a yeah. hundred years or not, and that's the problem in the music business, everybody don't follow that rule those rules we yeah. always did because we're like you know why wouldn't you like we just happen to play music we're lucky to be able to play music for people uh, otherwise yeah. we're the same assholes as everybody else out there you know what i mean so yeah, i was like why should man. anybody act but i i always hated gassed up people like for playing music it's like no it's something cool you do the minute you act gassed up for doing something cool you're a fucking asshole now i hate you yeah now you dude, can be the so coolest dude now i hate you Dude, let's let's be real, man. And, and, and you know what? And it's like, I don't know, man. It's so and it's funny to see. And you know, there's not, uh, you know, I don't want to miss miss fucking shit talk. It's just like, yeah, you see people, and it's like, oh, dude, like your hard, your little hardcore band got a little buzz. Fuck off, go fuck yourself. Oh, you know, yeah. you're not you're not hot shit. We're such a small piece of such a small microcosm. You know what I mean? I'm like, dude, I don't give a fuck how big you are. You think you're hot shit, and you want to treat people worse, you know? But I'm like, dude. In our little world, our little hardcore world, yeah. I'm like bro, we're still playing 200 cap rooms to yeah. people. Get and, the fuck over yourself, and, you know. Exactly. And not only that, where all those people go to to look for what's popping is to where we are in the trenches, meaning all of our bands. That's where yeah. everybody goes. I listen. Pantera didn't have a shaved head and camouflage pants before they saw Agnostic Front. That's just a fact. Yeah. 
And I love yeah. Pantera, but we're talking facts. Kerry King wasn't shaving his head bald to hardcore motherfuckers that he, to, that he saw skins and he was going bald. Said, okay, let me yeah. shave it. You could be hard and be bald and metal because skins yeah. will roll up. And, you know, Rob, shout out to Rob Halford, the only bald metal guy back in the day. But you yeah. know what I mean? But, like, hardcore punk was always the, 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 the well that heavy music tapped in from if you wanted that raw shit. If it, yeah. Metallica, what Metallica was listening to? Agnostic Front, Chromax, Misfits, Discharge, GBH. What was yep. Slayer listening to? Same shit. You want to yeah, go? You yeah. know, you want to keep going? <laughs> it, you know, it, 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 it all was influenced. You know, from that at least a little bit. You know, so we're all yeah, brothers. Man. We're all cousins, and and we're all inbreds. In a way. Yeah, basically, man. And that's the thing. I, I just, yeah, I, I don't know. I, that's all I say. I'm like, dude, again. You guys could have had every right to just be do your thing. Like, man, I, I was like, dude, I don't even know if these guys will want to talk to us. To be yeah. honest, I don't understand. <laughs> you hear tours like, dude, uh, uh, we didn't even meet the headline again. They didn't even talk to us. Yeah, you no, know I know. There's a lot of scumbag shit now. You know what you see with us, and I can speak for everybody, including I'll speak for H2O because that's family and we live together like that for you. What you see is what you get. We all like that. You saw, we're like that every yeah. day. That's what I saw with you. You guys were all who you were every day. You know, because I'm watching yeah. even when you're not watching. You know what I mean? That's how I work. You know, that's the, <laughs> difference be that. that's the difference between me and everybody else. I'm always watching because I'm a people watch. I like people, and I also like catching fake people out there. You know, it's kind well, of like a, like a guilty pleasure I have. And then you see, you find the real people when they... When they don't think anyone's watching, you see the truth come out. Exactly. You know? Exactly. It's, yeah, it's crazy, And, I, and let me ask you this. How many times were you in Europe before this tour? That was our second time. So we've only second. been one time before. Yeah. And, and uh, how long was that? And was it UK or was it UK and Europe? You know, it, the, it was I mean, both. Like, probably, the, yeah, we, we did both. It, it was, uh, um, we just did UK and Europe. We never made it to like Spain or anything. Yeah. Um, but that was uh, about three weeks. And that was last summer. It was with um, this band called Vane from the U.S. Yeah, it's been yeah. higher power. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the U.K. Uh, it was sick, man. It was, it was a, I mean, it was a great. Uh, again, man, I feel like all this stuff. I just take it with a grain of salt, you know. All, all, all like, no, the grain of salt, but it's like every time we get to go do something, we learn something new. And that was that. I could not ask for a better first time to get out there and just get to experience some stuff, get our feet wet, get a good understanding of what's going on, you know. Um, because we knew, like, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back many times, you know. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever be? So, did you ever travel to Europe before this, or first um, time in Europe? Yeah, that was pretty much. I went when I was like a little kid with my family, but oh, I don't cool. even. Yeah, no, nah, first time doing this shit like on, as an adult. Yeah, on tour. What was, was your What was your uh, culture shock? Your first thing that culture shock? Because everybody's culture shocked. Uh, Americans, we because we're meatheads naturally. Yeah. You know, like I remember going over there. Oh, fucking this, that, that. And it was like, you know, at the end of the day, it was over, like, just being different. You know what I mean? But the food was weird yeah. for us at first. Was any of the food weird for you? Dude, like, a little bit. A little bit. I yeah, I mean, it. you know what? Yeah. When we went last time, it was the middle of summer. And, it, and this past summer, I don't know if you guys were out there this summer. Or you guys haven't no. been back since. No, this, since this was the first time back in three, four years or whatever. So wild, wow, man. Dude, we went and it was like festival season that whole time and it was like this record heat wave dude people were like dying it was, it was pretty fucked up you were like stripped yeah, down horrible so we yeah it was it was and I, i'm like dude i we we got it i'm like i understand why it's crazy dude but we're out there like um we got linked up with this my, my man steven this uh bizarre little, little european dude who's our driver who we're like <laughs> yo this dude at first we're like dude holy shit this dude became our our dude been literally saved the tour for us in, in my opinion saved the tour for us because we realized we did not know shit man we didn't we had nothing planned we didn't have fucking fairies by this or that this dude was just pretty much like yo i i, I love it you know he reminds me a lot of rob the yeah. tm for this tour just like kind of no bullshit and he was like look uh if you guys want to do this uh follow me if not you can go fuck off we're like okay yeah let's let's do it so dude, this dude put us on man and we ate like kings. I actually like, ate like shit, but they like a king, dude. I could not stop getting those damn sausages at a gas station. <laughs> yeah. Sausages like kind of rattling like a Yeah. Oh my god, I couldn't stop. I but um, it. it was dope, man. And so it was cool to come back this time around and really do like the catering thing. I mean, it's, uh, the, the busing forget it was unreal. 
But, you know, just getting to not to worry about the drive por- portion, you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, even with us, sick. you know, we've, we've done a bunch of bus tours. But in general, we're sprinter guys because, yeah. again, we do this for a living. And, and, and we, we're not really a tour support band in general. Like, we kind of keep expenses low. So we would usually sprint in hotels, which are – they both got their pros and cons. Yeah. The bus on this tour – was the, the way I like it. When we have a lot of people that when we everybody gets along, those buses could be fun. Everybody will respect extra when they get along. When If people yeah. don't really mix with each other, people just worry about themselves, and then it kind of makes things uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, you know. I can't imagine, man. I feel like we the bar's been raised so high already, you know? Yeah. No, but, but it, it was, I can tell you, on as far as our part, you got to be part of a special tour as far as on our part. You know, I can speak for yeah. H2O and us and Hazen and even the take. Like, we don't get to play together like that, you know, together. It's yeah. rare. And, and maybe, and it never happened ever like that, you know. Yeah. So it's like, I, oh. I, I, I was a fan of from the outside, you know, like, got Mackie, I got Willie, you know, there's Maddie Henderson, yeah. there's, you know, you know, you got this guy, you got that guy. I was like, yo, you know, we got all, all the OGs, the killers from like every flavor and they're playing with every different band with their new shit. They all, you know, I was like, man, we got you guys, the new, the old, the, the mediums, the, you know, you, yeah. you name it. There was like, everybody was there, you know, connected. Oh, dude. I mean, I went home, I watched that, you know, that, that live Coney Island high and I'm like, damn, <laughs> this is like basically the mad ball I got to see. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? like, that was probably surreal. one of the listen, that was probably one of the last times we've played together was in that era because that was with Willie, you know, minus stigma. Yeah. That don't happen. We would have Maddie jump up here and there. One time Willie jumped up maybe 15 years ago. Never like what we did, like songs and all Dude, that. I literally was like, this is crazy, man. I, I can't, I cannot believe I'm getting to watch this. I mean, even watching, you know, watching Hazen Street. In yeah. a weird way, it's like almost like maybe so happy, almost maybe sad though. In a weird way, I was like, dude, like I don't know when the next time I get to see this, yeah. if, I, if, if no, ever, who knows? You know, no, like, I see you up there when we're the hazing, having a blast. I know you were feeling oh. the hazing. Stri- How great is watching Mackie every night? That's like for me sure. was for me. I go on tour to watch Mackie play drums, like, dude. You know, I, it's just surreal, man, dude. I, I mean, I just to watch Mackie kind of go through the world was awesome. Just yeah. navigate through the day. I'm like. This dude could do anything and make it look cool. Uh, you know what I mean? He's the flyest. Like, he's the flyest motherfucker in heavy music. Cool yeah. it by far. Oh and, man, I've been I'm I'm watching fun loving criminals videos yes. now. I'm like, uh, dude, yeah. I, I want to tap into what wherever this dude's been a part of, I just want to watch. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. A lot more than I even knew of. I thought I knew a good amount of this stuff, but there's more oh, than I even realized. Be, so and he's more. beyond. And let me just tell you this, and I'm gonna up the drain property value right now. <laughs> right, and I'm gonna talk uh, out of pocket for Mackie. Mackie fucks with you guys. He's like, yo, he like he liked the band. Mackie don't like nobody, you know. But Dude. he was like, he he f- loved watching you guys, and he loved the energy you guys had. That's and I know Mackie. So and Mackie won't. He'll let you know when he don't. By yeah. you, you'll just get the vibe. But just him. He he loved breaking bread with you guys. I was you know, but he also again you know the energy was right and. Again, this flavor, the band got flavor, you know. Again, you got a you got a little bit of this on the on the guitar. You got Dude. the white boy with flavor on drums. You always need a flavor for white boy. We got you up there. <laughs> Listen, you got a good you got home uh, fucking Sammy holding on the low end, same shit, you know. We got double slams right now. Double yeah, slam slams. Dude. But um yeah, no, it was good. What what is um your all right, what's your favorite thing about Europe? And then what's the thing you hate the most about Europe? Dude, because I, I, right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you mine. Because what Dude. I love about Europe is they'll stay with you forever. You know, the most, some, they are the most loyal people. In gen- I won't even pick a country, just in general, yeah. as a pre- they, whatever. What I hate about them the most, 90% of them, they get drunk, they get right in your face, and they spit when they talk in your face. <laughs> yeah. They, they, in the ear, they, they kind of yeah, yeah. yell. They yeah. yell in the ear a little bit. Um, no, I mean, I mean, dude, I, I will say this. Dude, we're so, we're so blessed, man. When, like, we've, everyone we've met has been so cool out there. And it's still, like, to me, you know, I hope to never lose that feeling. I'm like, this is a kid who lives on the other side of the world who's got a tattoo of my band or has got, like, has had that, you know, 
this music makes his day that much better or whatever it is, you know? I'm like, so in that sense, man, I, I think that's my favorite, probably my favorite part is just getting to meet the people that listen and uh, literally allow us to get to do this stuff. Cause if it's not for those yeah. people, we don't get to do this stuff. For um, sure. I will say probably least favorite is, uh, in a sense too, some of the, some of the people, yeah, dude, there was a couple of shows where I was like, and it's not because I'm straight edge or anything. I don't give a shit. I, lie. I don't mind drunk people. Oh, I know. I, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know you mean. Uh, I don't want to say love drunk people, but there's there's this little bit I notice in the shows and outside the shows too, just this like, I don't know, the smugness, I guess is the way, where you, I'm kind of like, man, just very funny. Dude's getting like pissed drunk and kind of like, I don't know what it is. I was like, just kind of give me a, a vibe. I was like, ooh. We know that's why somebody had to get smacked up. That's why we know because of that same reason. I was just say, well, dude, and it's funny too. He's, over, the, he's it. over there, by the way. If there's freaking check police, he's right yeah. over there. <laughs> but yeah, I know it's funny that that night you know Tom and Angie's he's like weird night, dude. Weird vibe. It happens. Yeah, it happens. You know, don't you know, fuck it, with don't fuck with the madball camp, man. It's yeah, that no, simple, the, dude. That that you never do. That that's a, a warning yeah. to the world. They know out there. Usually they know. But it's fun. Yeah. No, but I got to say this. What was good about um you guys, which was um, I, I was on my side watching and curious how you guys were going to do. I know we bring out a lot of now they're a, a little bit more on the older side of, of the crowd. Now, even our guys got a little old. Everybody's a little bit more on the older bracket. And you guys are coming in with new guy energy. So I was curious to see how they're going to. You know, watch you guys or be haters. Yeah. There's a lot, you know, a lot of older generation people. There's a lot of haters, and every totally. generation just they, they get older because it ain't the bands they came up with. They automatically hate. You know, it yeah. comes up in every generation. And I gotta say that I watched it, and I watched like older, more punk hardcore people that were there for. I could, I know for a fact, what they were mad for Madball, and guys were going crazy for you, like. A older generation which is a good sign meaning yeah. again the music is not getting labeled as just some oh this is just some like young kid sometimes um energetic music gets labeled as just oh young kid music yeah you know what i mean oh, when totally, it's like, no, yeah. we're all grown we're all grown-ups it's like no we just you know we got energy and then you know and, and that's how he feels that's how he he expresses himself you know sometimes. yeah dude i, I think you saw that though man because I, I felt that i totally felt that and uh yeah, I mean, and not that, not that you know anyone needs our help, right? But I think it's sick too because a lot of kids I did talk to, I do like, I don't. I'll be honest, I just, I just came. I don't really, I came for you guys. I don't really know you, like you know the other bands. And I'm like, dude, yo, I, I encourage you to stay, man. Like, I think it, it really does work both ways. You know, a lot of the times, like you guys got the, you guys got the rooms like ninety five percent full. We brought that other five, maybe those young Absolutely. kids. Absolutely. But I'm like, yo, t stay, watch, take notes. This is. If you like us, then you like this because this is us trying to funnel that yeah. our own way. You Same know? thing. We always, you know, from early on, from code like we talked about it, code orange kids to turnstile early to whoever. Yeah. Yo, whenever there was new new music, new blood, we were like, yo, let's go. You know yeah. what I mean? Because we were those bands. You know, we know what it is. We like that energy. We love music, and we love people who are like, yo, let let's like like you say, let's go, right? Let's <laughs> well, go. But, but that's what we like. When motherfuckers got that energy, we go. And with with that being said, what's next for, for Drain? What's what's the next plan? I know, again, we talked about the whole, you got a lot of stuff where I just saw uh, you guys played some festival the other day, right? You played with, yeah. uh, who you played that with? Was it with Pennywise? Or, uh, Pennywise no, and Suicidal. Shout yeah. out to both, to Fletcher. Shout out to, to Suicidal. That's fam there. Everybody yeah. else. It How was, was that? Sick, it looked man. like you guys looked like you killed it. I saw some footage. As a matter of fact, dude, maybe an hour before we talked. Dude, it, it was dope, man. It was really cool. Dude, that's that was like, um, you know, one of those ones. It's like, I feel like, well, that's what I'm talking about with this dance. You really just do it the right way. But I feel like we've been doing it. It was just straight hardcore, 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 which I love. But, you know, you only, you can only, not you can only do so much. But at a certain point, you, you start realizing, like, yo, it, it's okay to do other stuff. We, you know, it's, it's okay to step out and do other stuff. So this is one of our first, last summer we did our first like more metal leaning festival. Yeah. You know, and this is our first time doing a more punk leaning festival. And, um, you know, we were, we were actually the wild call. We were like yeah. kind of the odd man out, but dude, just, just fucking brought the A game, just set that shit off. Dude, had kids going 
fucking nuts. It looked and, great. You know, I saw it. We play like 2 p.m. Kids like, yo, what the fuck? That was insane. Like, dude. So I think we, you know, made a lot of uh, – made a lot of new uh, people you know we put them on we got, we got some new people yeah. watch this now so it was sick man and uh so still trying to just do that do that dance you know stay true to where we came from but be open to expanding and putting ourselves in front of new crowds you know absolutely people don't let nobody ever tell you fucking different because the same thing with us we people we would play with whoever would book us but people yeah. didn't at the time people like knew we were waving the hardcore flag which of course we did but they thought like oh we just wanted to play with hardcore bands in Europe, in the early days, we got to play a lot since there weren't a lot of hardcore bands touring like that. You know, it was sick yeah. of it all, a handful. We would play a lot with Machine Head, with Fear Factory, yeah. My Dying Bride, like metal bands, like you, you name them. We were all on a lot of these same bills because it was you know, all heavy music. You know yeah. what I mean? It, it all, so there was never, we played, one of our best shows was um, in, in Belgium and it was, um, it was pretty funny, it was, Los Lobos, Madball, then Corn. This was before Corn really blew, blew up. So we had Yo. the people singing the Bomba. Then we had we doing set it off. Then we had the Are You Ready dudes. You know That's I mean? insane. So, yeah, now, yeah. Then you got a same stage. You know, uh, Belgium again a mix. But we play with whoever, and it was great. Everybody kills it. You almost get a a, you know, a, a more orth authentic reaction when you could turn those crowds around because. Oh, dude. Yeah. You know, they don't know you, so they don't feel like they're obligated to move to you. Well, dude, and so when you get them to move, you're like, damn, that's that's really how I feel. I feel like, it, it, you know, kind of like what you're saying, where it's like one night you're playing a thousand people, one night you're playing 10. Good sound, bad sound. I feel like it's all, it's almost like, uh, I don't know, I, I, I guess I put it to like, like, like fitness. It, it really is. It's like, dude, you have these muscles, but then how do you use them? One yeah. day you got to use this one, but one day you got to use the other side. You know, you got to like learn and you got to be good at using all of them because it changes every day, yeah. every show. You know, you, sure. you got your, your good things, but you see bands, I'm sure where it's like, dude, in front of a hardcore crowd, fucking smoke it. They step <laughs> yep. out and they play in front of people that don't know them and yeah. they don't know how to, how to work it, you know? Absolutely. That's where the finesse comes in and that's where the watching the how the big dogs do it or just in general studying the game we the same thing with us we always said we always want to rap that raw hardcore shit but we always said we got to let the metal motherfuckers know we could do it just as clean as tight as big willy as professional as they yeah. could do it you know but still oh. being ourselves because mab always took pride in sounding big playing tight because again who who was where were we in the build? We were playing with the machine heads, the fear factories. We had to come off. You know yeah. what I mean? And we had one guitar. So we it had to be like a machine. We were like, yo, we gotta be tight. And we gotta sound good. Like it was like, oh, so we're not doing our scene. We're not doing yeah. the scene. Forget just New York, just hardcore music. We have a chance to be like, you know, contenders against the metal guy, against the this. We gotta represent. So we like, get those full stacks. Fuck yeah. that! Get that! What, what distortion they use? We want to fuck with that, you know. And yeah. we and we always took pride on trying to, you know. I love that metal shit. You know. What I mean? Yeah. You know. Well, so. dude, it, it, it's funny you say that, man. I'm on, I'm on, like I said, I'm on that same tip, man. I mean, like, dude, our first, we go back to Europe this summer. The first show in Europe is fucking that Valken Festival. I saw it, and I'm like, man, you better believe I'm gonna roll down my little short shorts on. I don't give a fuck. I want nah, them to be like, that's, who are that's these guys? Right. And they'll be like, damn. These guys can play and like that's yeah. why I fucking and you that's know, you great. You think I don't know? You think I don't know Sodom and shit? I know all yeah, this. Yeah, shit. yeah, exactly. And congratulations, and congratulations on the Vakin thing because it ain't a a, a a tour that just takes anybody like that. There's, there's bands that've been on there around for many years, big bands that don't play there. You know, yeah. them to take you. You know, you could be hot or whatever. Still, it's not like it's so. It's to get in there, we got to play it too. You know, it's like one of those that. To get on, it's like, oh shit, all right. Like, you should yeah. feel good about that one. You know what Dude, I mean? Despite you, whatever. That's one, because it ain't like one that everybody gets to do that easy. So, yeah, man, it's Dude, a great fest, thanks, you know? Man. You know, and it's a Dude, great I'm, thing. And fucking. I'm stoked. Yeah, so you got that summer tour. What, what's next, yeah. music wise? What do you want everybody to look out for? Yeah, well, so we got. um we just dropped the. When would this come out? Do you know? Just curious. This is gonna come out fucking in five minutes. No, we're gonna probably oh, drop. Real? I said it. No, like today's um Tuesday. We're gonna drop. When we dropping the gate? Th Thursday. Thursday. 
Thursday. Okay, sick. Well, then, so tomorrow, Wednesday, we're putting out the full line for this American tour. Um, and so we got, you know, it's kind of, a, it's a big ass flyer. One of those ones is a little, you know, a little yeah. hectic, a lot going on, but we're just like, yo, we like a lot of bands. We want to just do as many bands as we can. Let's get like fucking on the smaller bands. They got a five week tour. We got a one week for each of these guys. We have five bands coming out. And so it's, um, it's going to be sick, man. But we put that out and that's basically all of, you know, the end of May to the end of June. Uh, we go home and chill for a sec. And then we go late July. I, well, fuck, I don't know if it's going to be announced yet. We're, we got some plans, though. We're going, we just announced Europe. We got a, another tour we're doing right before Europe. But uh, we'll be busy this summer, man. But, yeah, the, the album drops May 5th. Um, we just – I think I just gave it a green light on the last single fucking video. So that no. should be coming out uh, next week. We have another our last single coming out. It's going to be a little bit of a wild card, keep people on their toes. Good. I think we're going to get some love, probably get a little hate, and I love it. I'm ready right. to see what happens, <laughs> Yeah. 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 So when's the record come out again? Where could people find the record and the date again? Dude, so that's May 5th. I mean, uh, aside from all the platforms and shit, I, I'll be honest, I don't really know. I know just through Epitaph is going to have a bunch of you know places you can probably buy yeah. the yeah, variants, but yeah, the whole... But, but under the Epitaph, on the Epitaph umbrella everywhere. Everywhere, yeah, exactly, man. May fifth, that shit drops. Um, we got some cool shit planned out for like the day that you know record release parties and shit. We're working on some cool stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm stoked, man. Just been been putting this thing. Out. So I'm hoping, man, to just drop that. I hope everyone listens to it. I hope they enjoy it, and I really hope that we can get in front of some new people through that record. You know, listen, you guys, look at. We're rooting for you guys. We love you guys. I love the band. You guys, even the, the, the people in the band are even better than the band and the music. And we love Dude, the music. Thanks, and that's a great combo. But we are rooting for you. The band is dope. I got to say, I'm, I'm glad to be rooting for you. I'm glad you're good guys. And I'm glad your music is, is dope because there's a lot of good guys with shitty music. So, you know, you're, you're our horses <laughs> and you got a lot of big things to come ahead and stay if you stay with that same mentality, you be I right because um there's a lot of people out there that um early on you could see um they were full of shit, but it's good like yeah. you know good energy brings good things. As and I'm not one of these to that I leave that for Toby, but it's reality. You know when you you know when you're a good dude, it comes back to you. You know if you're yeah, a good person, man. it comes back to you one way or another. But again, I really fuck with the band. I'm psyched for the band. Um, it's good energy. The whole thing. I'm. Hoping you got. I'm definitely gonna catch you guys whenever you come through Florida. You know that whenever you're in South Florida, you know what time Dude, it is. With, thank with you, man. And, I said that. Uh, I think. I think we're going out there. I think it's Jacksonville, but I don't know if that's too close to you. We, nah, it ain't. But you're gonna see the rock in the building. We were just talking Dude. about it. So, oh. we're, look at our ears are to the streets. You understand? Dude, but look, you tapped in. You know. You know. Listen, it's really good to see you, man. I'm glad you got to tell everybody what's up. The whole fucking drain camp. Anything you want to let the people out there know before we out of here? Dude, Strip, listen to Smoking Word, man. Listen to fucking that ball. Strip, yeah, not, damn it. This is the real not, deal, man. Listen, you know the deal. My man Sam, the fucking Vox behind drain, drums, gulch. He does bass for Mad Ball. Look online. Go check them out. Go support them. They're dropping that record. Yo, mad love to you and the fellas. Drain in the building. Smoking Word podcast. We out of here. Dude, thank you, Hoya, man. All the love, brother. I appreciate you, man. I'll hit you in a minute, all right? Yo, be safe. We out of here.